that's too crazy. Well, let me just do a little snap filter or something girl some of these things okay here we go just a little filter action just just a little glow a little enhancement like not all of that <laughs> you know you just be wanting to look just a little enhanced without putting on no makeup but some of these filters child anyway what's going on y'all it's your girl e <laughs> it's been so long since i did a video man I was out and about yesterday and I saw my main man Raleigh and he was like yo I haven't seen a video from you in so long and then it hit me like yo I haven't done a video in a year so it's been a year or almost a year it's May right now I believe the last video that I did was just before my vow renewal I had my 10 year vow renewal last year in August of 2021 um, had friends and family come down and witness, you know, the recommitment of me and Nick's love. After 10 years, child, of being together. Yo, we are old. So let me just be clear. If you have never been to my channel before, I'm Eve. I'm fun and 41. <laughs> old as hell. But these are my adventures, intentionally queening, you know, doing my life. Um, living on my own terms and you know hopefully inspiring a couple people along the way to like live their truth and do your shit so I was telling my husband I was like babe I saw Raleigh you know what I'm saying at Maria's the other day when I was out getting breakfast he mentioned that he hadn't seen no videos from me so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start my channel back up especially since we have a lot of adventures that are coming up here you know during the summer we'll be doing a lot of traveling and he was like yeah you absolutely sure you're entertaining as fuck so needless to say Thanks to the encouragement of Raleigh and my husband, your girl is back. You know, sometimes you just need that one person just to validate your whole life and get you all the way together and just snatch you up, child, and be like, bitch, please go be great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recap. <laughs> Say hey to Juicy. <laughs> Big Juicy Red. Um, anyway. <clears throat> Mama bought a bro a rover. I'm so excited about it. For my birthday. Y'all missed that. Y'all missed when I bought the rover in Miami for my birthday. So I'm gonna go back and recap some of the highlights of the past year and um, you know, just kind of narrate through some of the pictures and some of the little videos or whatever. Garvey, what you see, baby? Somebody over there? Somebody trying to creep on us? Baby, go get them. Don't let them creep on your mama anyway i'm gonna recap some of the things over the year and you know just do just just travel along through this journey with your girl and at the end i'm gonna just say bye and then we just gonna start fresh in 2022 like that whole missing year never even happened Okay, so let's get right the hell into it, shall we? We had our vow renewal at the St. George uh, Botanical Garden in St. Croix under the flamboyant tree. Nick walked in looking like a whole Africanized snack meal. Okay, loving the fit and the energy he was bringing. 
Um, my bridesmaids came in like the three muses that they are looking gorgeous and luxurious in the bromeliad garden. My mother did a prayer over me and Nick's dad did a prayer over him. Mind you, my homegirl Tamika stood in as our officiant because my sister who was supposed to do it never came to the wedding and also didn't send a message about that. However, we had an amazing time. It was a beautiful ceremony with family and friends and Nick and I strolled out of there like a boss. I really loved the nose ring that he gave me and it just really was a beautiful way to end 10 years with him and start our next 10 years together. So after the wedding, we launched right into marketing mode for the soft pre-launch of our Zoe Girls Tribe Dolls. I noticed in the marketplace, the dolls were all very sexualized, they all had on makeup, and I was like, no, let's create some modest little girl dolls that look like friends. So please check out these dolls um, at Zoe and Life on Instagram. I designed this collection to make sure that there was a multitude of skin tones and hair textures represented and people are really loving that in the marketplace we're receiving great feedback so I'm really excited to um, continue this project and roll it out fully hopefully this year so fast forward to January 2022 and the man cub turned 16 so we took him to miami um he had always wanted to go and never had gone so we took him to flight club so he could get a couple pair of jays um he's really into sneakers right now and then i stopped by a dealership and i saw this little sweet juicy red on the lot or whatever so i figured hey it's my birthday weekend too and on the way to the airport um i bought the rover <laughs> Then in February, I slid back into Phoenix to take care of my mom while she had knee surgery. Mind you, I had to explain this to the people of Phoenix while I wasn't outside. Because <laughs> I had posted these pictures that Taylor had did my hair and I was feeling myself. And people were like, okay. so you're in Phoenix. And I was like, yeah. But anyway, Taylor had me feeling myself um, like the whole queen that I am and got me back in my creator spirit. So I decided, eh, why don't I go ahead to the Phoenix sneaker ball? So I made some sneakers, um, made this dress and then, you know, slid on in there to serve a little face. So it's really crazy how, you know, one event or whatever can help you get back in your bag and help you kind of, you know, revive your energy. Um, I don't know. I came home and I started thinking about like all these designs like, oh, I could do this. Oh. What if I added that? So, I don't know what 2023 about to be looking like, but I feel some newness that want to come forth here. The vibes, the creative vibes. That moment really did inspire me to revamp my life. So, I went ahead and created myself a new professional headshot. Took that headshot on over to LinkedIn. Did me a bunch of interviews, like a lot of interviews. And was able to quit my jobs that I hated and double my income at my new job. What a ride. <laughs> so that was my life in 10 minutes um, over the past year. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I enjoy sharing it with you for sure and of course I left a lot out but those are kind of the highlights if you want to see any um, longer videos about any of those things like I videoed myself making the dress and making the shoes and you know dealing with my dolls and dressing them and making their clothes and all that so if you want to see any of that please drop that in the comments and let me know you want to see that content and I'll go ahead and create it otherwise today I'm headed out to a Persian tea party <laughs> and um Sorry, y'all. A big old truck came by and it was super loud. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to a Cruisian tea party today. Um, in June, I'm going up to Maryland uh, to take my son to D.C. for the first time. Then somewhere in the summer, we'll be headed out to Georgia. And we're just going to be going to a couple different places. So if you want to watch this journey, continue with us. Please like and subscribe. Share your girl. You know, if you find me entertaining as hell, please share the joy. I love y'all. Thanks for sharing this with me. Have a great day.